show and we're back with another video guys and before we get started with this badass vlog I want to remind everybody this is the final week to get entered to this King Baller giveaway it ends this Sunday guys 11 59 p.m. central time go get your entries before it's too late you can be taking this badass truck home or fifty thousand dollars in cash you can take this truck literally pimp it off for a little bit and sell it for more money if you're smart enough you'll do that if you need the money right there and then well then you take the fifty thousand dollars and you can do whatever you want with it because it's your money before we get started I want to send a big shout out to my boy Tim took off the 713 way logos and we added the on the gas so that looks pretty cool we're gonna keep the 713 way over there on the top that's pretty cool but we need to put, uh, do some on the gas stuff so this is the on the gas badges it looks pretty cool this thing is humongous guys literally you can take this thing to work you can take it to the car shows you can pull up in it to the car shows towing doing all that good stuff and today we're going to be picking up the chevy raptor from the exhaust shop and then we're going to be doing some hurt rat stuff we're going to be pulling out the monster truck because i've seen some comments talking about this truck can't put in the work you know we literally just went to the dealer and brought two Fords in the trailer and it towed it like nothing. Well, right now we're gonna put that big monster truck. That big monster truck is somewhere around 15,000 pounds. So we're gonna put the big monster truck on the white trailer. We're gonna hook up to this truck and then we're gonna take it for a spin and hopefully nothing breaks, right Frank? It should, I mean, this thing's gonna put in work. That's what it's for. Yes, yes, yes. I just wanna show you guys yeah. that this thing, even though it has 30s, it has big tires, 42s, it has a big lifted. I'm gonna show you guys that it still works. Now we got a bag set up in the back. We have some helper bags that help out the suspension in the rear, but we pretty much got airbags on everything. We have airbags on that one too, which is the 5500. Uh, now that one, those bags are rated for more and more and more weight just because we actually hook up to the five car hauler on, on this one. But on this one, it doesn't need that uh, big of a bag, but we are running two uh, nice little bags. And these are right here. And then you work these out with a remote control, which is right here, real simple. Ah. I hope a guy like Tiny doesn't win this truck. It's gonna be hard for him to get It'll be hard, it's, this bitch is tall. Yeah, so right now we got five pounds of pressure. All you gotta do is just go up. You know what I'm saying? You remember this, Frank, because you had this remote on the Denali, right? Mm -hmm. Put it on 33 pounds. Uh, Literally, it does it by itself. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to plug up. You don't have to put air or nothing. You know what I'm saying? You want to stop. You want to go back to five. It's going to stop. It's going to release it. Now, if you're driving it around just like this, well then five pounds, 10 pounds is good. This thing is real, real soft. It's not a, it's not stiff like the dualies are. This thing actually rides really, really nice. But if you are gonna hook up a trailer, especially a goose snake, you probably need to put up about 50 pounds, 50 pounds and up. If you're gonna do a regular car hauler, it just depends. You, you just gotta check it out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hook it up and see how much it squats and then from there you go up you know just want to kind of want to even it out and stuff like that but this thing is real 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 nice we're gonna pip it out to the muffin shop and then once we come back we'll hook up to the trailer and also we bought another truck nothing new old cat eye you know what i'm saying we like the cat eyes and stuff like that we were the kings of the cat eyes so we're getting a badass little cat eye from our boy miguel at khp I actually been working on this truck for a while now he hit me up here talking about he uh, needed the money for something else more important so i was like you know what you know we can work something out i can buy it off of you and you can still be able to see it so we are going to be putting some nice rims on it and we might might just might make it another burnout truck or maybe we might race perio but i think he's going to beat us on that one right all motor versus all motor i don't think so but spray you got a 408 that's right it'll be a good race i think it'll be a good race yeah. i think that's probably like the even like the most, the most even. even yes yeah. yes and i think but still gonna get it because he got a four away it's a built motor we have a 5.3 board over you know i don't know if what is like a 5.7 or something something like that but but is a 408 and that thing is pretty fast now he hasn't tuned it yet i don't know what he's waiting for you waiting on flaco i've been taking work to flaco back and forth what are you waiting for on flaco for hey, I ain't you. Chill out. <laughs> oh yeah he got bills to pay let's go Surprising, made a U-turn. I know it's got a good turn radius. Oh, oh there it is. Look at that bad bitch right there. Oh, can you drive this truck, Frank? Yeah. What the fuck? What kind of question is that, bro? Right. Jesus, that's offensive, actually. Yo, what's up? What's up, Dom? Look at them. I hope it's not too quiet for you. Oh, it's quiet? Nah, it's good. I like it. It looks good. I like the black tip. Damn. Whoa, sir. Hold uh, up. Still, we're still having problems with this. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. A little different from what you're used to. No, it is quiet. I like it. I like it. It's a perfect sound.
All right, that's not too bad. Sounds good. Is it? I describe it as a sleeper sound. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it has much, but it's definitely a good. Muffler. Yeah, yeah. When you when you hit it, it's gonna sound yeah. And then with the cam, was we'll even more too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Once we we'll do the cam and a converter and a supercharger and a Whoa. 427 yeah, and yeah, M1. M1. That sound badass. Oh no, yeah. Look, it sounds good. It's not loud like at all. I like this. This is my favorite muffler to me. Especially once you cam it, it's gonna be even better. But I love this. One. This is, you can actually daily the truck like this. Yeah. So this one doesn't have like a rumble in between. Like that, that, that bien amado que es. Long tube headers, wide pipe, and a uh, big muffler, of course. Sounds good. Let me see how it sounds from over there. Yeah, nice and quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. You can still have a conversation. Yeah. So Takashi is still, we're still having trouble with it. Maybe tomorrow, maybe. If not Friday. Hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, but I think it's looking more for like Friday. Yeah. Maybe Friday morning. Is that that other giveaway? Yes. Check it out. Well, I saw I saw when you posted it, but I haven't seen it in person. Might be. Is it taller than? No, yours is taller. Uh, no, this is way taller. This is way taller. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's definitely taller. Man, want to trade? <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. How the drive? Man, the drive is really good. Like it's real smooth. Like it's smoother than a regular dually. As long as they're lifted right, yeah, they're usually good. Yeah, it's real good. I think it has like aftermarket leash springs in the back, so it doesn't have all the 20 leash springs that these trucks come with. So it has like the kind of like a mono leaf leash spring, and then we put the helper bags. So it actually runs in the 30s on 42s. Would you say? Value wise, this is the most expensive giveaway. It's uh, what I mean, if you were to build this, that's this is uh, 150, 175, maybe 200,000 to build it because uh, yeah. the truck itself is 100 no, bands. It's a lot. It's 100 bands, it has low miles, I think it has like 13,000 miles, 12,000 miles, somewhere around there. What year is it again? 2020. 2020, yeah, I got the, the wheels are expensive, the tires are expensive, the rack, it has the bumpers, the grill, it has sound system in the back, Everything. all original interior, still, you know, you get on it, it's tie, 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 you know, What kind of kit is it? That I do not know. Kid, I don't even know what size the lift kit is it, but it's the I'm tall. Gonna, I'm gonna say about a 14, 16 inch, something yeah. like that. What do you got? That's a 10. Well, that's a 10 inch. Oh, a bit more so i'd say an easy 14 16 on this one 37s 38s or 40s the tires are 40s what is this 42 no it's probably more than yeah probably 16 at least yeah i don't, I don't even know how you measure these i don't know we don't know too much about the lifting stuff but it's done right of course my boy ash did a uh, a good job yeah. I get in. I get in. Uh, it has more speakers besides that one namas namas trae eso it's loud too like, it's separate from the The lights, I mean, it has a bunch of shit. Maybe a seven inch. If not that, actually, a black one really Black one might not be a bad idea. This is too big. Because the diesel's gonna throw out the stones. Like no, 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 no. It's stuck. It's still. It's, it's not deleted it's or anything. That one's not deleted? No, no. It's not deleted. Oh, shit. That's surprising. Then, actually, if it's not deleted, you actually have to leave that tip on there. That tip, the way it's made, it's actually designed to extract some of the fumes. And if you take it off and you change it, something simple like this, it'll turn that tip bright red. Oh. Is there, you know, let me show you what I'm talking about. See, yesterday I taught you something, today you taught me something. <laughs> I didn't know that. These, these are actually vents. Oh, okay, okay, it, okay. It may look like it's nothing, but it has a lot to do on these trucks. If you cut it off and put a tip, it's whatever it does with the fumes, it just overheats. So you actually need that tip unless it's deleted. Unless it's deleted. Yeah. Gotcha. So you can't change it. You can remove it and powder coat it, but that's it. You need that tip on there. Okay, what do you think? It don't look too bad. It looks like the one we just put on the, on the Raptor. Man, I almost got excited. We're gonna get a 
We gonna get a big tip, right? Big tip. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, bro. <laughs> Hold up, dog. <laughs> from picking up the Chevy Raptor and I told you I was gonna buy you a ride and also the Young Dolph truck is coming back. Abort Flock was actually delivering that truck right now. As soon as that truck gets here, we're gonna be testing it and not only we're testing that one, but we're testing our new ride that we just got, which is right here guys, a 2004 5.7 Cat Eye. guys i told you i was gonna buy a truck from my boy miguel now well my boy miguel is here and you this guy looks a little familiar just because he actually is the guy that works at KHP. now tell us a little bit about your truck bro well it's my truck now but <laughs> you know what i'm saying you you've been having this truck for a while you built it and tell us why you got rid of it uh, i got some more plans uh well y'all know i work at KHP, so i'm in, i'm gonna invest in the tuning school there you go you know? he's actually doing a real good move now he's sacrificing his truck yeah. for his for his future which yeah. a lot of you guys need to do this stuff you know what i'm saying a lot of you guys have y'all priorities a little fucked up and that's fine you know what i'm saying you're gonna learn one way or another my boy miguel here wants to get into the tuning school and it's pricey right yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's pricey okay. so he's like man i need to sacrifice my truck and nothing better than just keeping it here with on the gas you know you're gonna be able to see it and all that good stuff <laughs> yeah. now tell us a little bit about your motor. now this truck is not stock right no it's not stock it's a 5.3 bore to a 5.7 yeah and so it's still a cast engine yes uh bill that. tranny e85 how much horsepower are we looking at uh, 450 to the wheel 450 to the wheel so it makes almost the same power than takashi yeah right and you got a six up we got a six up yeah now this one does have forged pistons yeah it has uh the same heads that we got on takashi yes. stuff like that takashi we're still running the stock block stock piston all that stuff it's yes. the, 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 yeah, all yeah, stock correct. bottom all the bottom end is stock right yeah stock yeah, 9 so 2003 white truck now we actually bought it and we actually put the S's wheels because he had a drag pack and he was going to sell the wheels on his own. And I think the S's wheels give it a nice look. Now, I got a crazy idea for this truck. It's going to be a new burnout truck. And I'm thinking about painting my wheels white. What, what you think about that, Frank? White on white? Leave the, the chrome in the front? No. No, 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 no. All white. Everything white, bro. Put an S's bumper on it. Not do our S's kit on it because we don't need to. We got this one right here. You know what I'm saying? That's the king. This is the king of all the S's cars right here. If you don't agree, you can come over here and fight my boy Acosta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is, and after this is the OG. Oh, which one's first? The OG or this one? OG. The OG is on top. And then this one. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah. The OG was first. And then this one came out. But we've been having this one stock. We don't want to fuck with it. The OG is back at Fat Fast. We're going to give you some content on that one, guys. But on this one, I think about painting the wheels white. Maybe put a white SS bumper. I want to add a different color in the hood and the grill and everything. So we might add some red. We might add some blue. We might add some green. Let us know, guys. Comment down below. We should leave it white. Paint, you know, add another color to it. A nice little blue right here on the hood. Or maybe a red or a green. Because I've seen some comments talking about we should paint the two-door TLX green or tiny. But no, why would we do that? Tiny oh, has his own truck. He's got his own truck over there. <laughs> that we pulled yesterday. Yes. And he was pissed off about that. He was. But I've been telling him, you need to move your truck, bro. Because it's right in the middle of the lot. And we need to cut the grass. And look how clean it is. Look how nice and everything looks organized. Even Perrillo. Perrillo's truck was right here. Yeah, like he if he owns it. this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he was like, you know what? Let me get my fucking truck and put it back there. Before, before it gets I... dragged. Yeah. And I told him I was going to drag his truck on Spencer. So where is the SS? Right okay. there. So we got the SS right there. It's clean and everything. We moved the monster truck. We actually cut the grass here. We're going to have a little, a little soccer tournament in the back. Because everybody's out of shape. Not me or you. But Acosta is, Jose, yeah, Jose is Jose's out of shape. I know this guy, you out of shape, you good? No, I'm good. Si aguanto. No, 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 now we need to test it before we buy it, right? But we already uh, bought it. We already, we already bought it, bro. Right? It's too late. Fuck. No, no turning back. He can't get too far. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We actually, this truck has a name already, right? 
kind of. <laughs> yeah. So, are we gonna talk about the, you know, why why he's on, on the whole incident? <laughs> I mean, we talked about it in one vlog already. Okay. Well, Do let's we talk about it. Him? We need to remind everybody again. What happened, bro? Had a little accident. Just uh, be safe around guns. There you go. You don't need to say more. You don't need to say more. You already know what happened. Use your imagination. Yeah. So they started calling him Cheddar Bob. Cheddar Bob from the movie <laughs> Eight Mile. Eight Mile, where Eminem comes out. That's the white boy, right? That shot himself. That's the shot himself. Don't you worry, rabbit. I got you back. Man, put that shit away, dog. Okay, all right. Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Fuck. So, Miguel on the truck, the truck is white, so we're gonna call this one the Cheddar Bomb. Cheddar Bomb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys have a better name. I mean, I think it goes with it, with it real good just because it was his truck. It's He's, got history, it's got a name. Yeah. He yeah. shot himself, and then this was a white truck, and then the Cheddar Bomb guy was white, you know what I'm saying? And so, he shot himself too. Exactly. The so, day, the day I had my accident, I wasn't driving my diesel. I had this one. Oh, you had, oh, you have a diesel too, yeah, right? I have a oh, one. yeah. I was about to ask you, what are you gonna be driving now? Nah, but well, you got the nice LBZ yeah, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, we need to test it out. Oh. He's saying that this truck will be perrillo just the way it is right now, right? Okay. Ah. <laughs> Let me turn it on, bro. You said before I bought it, you were like, if you buy my truck, you will be perrillo. Now, perrillo has a 408. It's a Texas Speed 408. Now, this one, it's a 5.3 bore to a 5.7, right? Yeah. But this one does have piston and heads and stuff like that. So it has good internals, right? Yes, it Making about 550 horsepower on the 85. 450. 450. Nah, but it doesn't make it more than that. Hey, bro, it's because when I sold it to you, I thought I heard 4.8, not 4.08. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> as long as it does burnout, we Gucci. Did it get into limb mode or what? Yeah, I wanted to reduce the power. Yeah. That's so stuck. <laughs> yeah, remember that? You broke it already? Yeah, right? God. So bad, no scares. Break it already, bro? No, 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 it's not broken. But it got a little scared. Got a little frightened. Got a little scared. I feel like y'all think I'm gonna destroy, but I'm really not. Just trying to test out the stuff. Somebody has to test. <laughs> what do you call this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be well, all right. Why are you laughing like that? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Everything you touch, you, especially when we first buy it, yeah. it always gets fucked up. Okay. It'll be all right. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like you guys think, everybody here thinks, and everybody behind the camera, everybody thinks that I'm gonna destroy, but I'm not. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Just. I'm just trying to tell you, not really, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like his. Yeah, what is your. Was, yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say, bro? Hey, hey, watch out with the slip <laughs> This is This is 180 pounds, you know what I mean? So. I don't know. But we got to test the stuff out, and I'm the, the designated tester. Right. Perillo's the crash dummy for some stuff, and I am the tester for stuff like this. Now, it can go wrong, and we can, I can also crash, and you know, she can go south real quick. And my boy, he's paying for tuning school. He already knows how to tune. What all does the uh, tuning school come with? Like, uh, what do you learn? We get more into feature with the uh, HP tuners. We learn more about the sensors and the functions. You know, it's not just about hooking up a laptop and going. You gotta know what every movement you're doing. And then also on Holly. Oh, Holly, Holly. oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool, para que venga sin los para que nos tonees los mamás aquí para para caer el palo, ¿eh? Yeah. Bájale poquito el timing entonces yeah, y va, yeah. va a hacer eso. Sounds like those Valley N8 trucks. Yeah. But yeah. like, you know, high compression yeah. and everything. But it is a high compression yeah. motor.
Fuck yeah, fuck it. Tire Slayer, bro. It Thanks. is a tire slayer now. Question, should we leave it like this or put a supercharger? Cause we're gonna supercharge that blue one over there tomorrow. I don't feel like it needs it, but it's kind of cool to have a supercharger on it. Well, remember we're pulling out the motor off Takashi, right? Mm -hmm. Cause we got a 427. Thinking about putting that six cell on that blue one. There you go. So that one's all NA, shifts manual. This one has a built motor where we can actually put an LSA supercharger and it'll hold a little bit more boost than the stock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It should make what, about 600 horsepower then? Uh, it'll, make, it'll make about, yeah, I mean, if it makes 450, probably let's just say 100, 100 horses, maybe 150. Yeah. What you think? I've seen it do, do that before, uh, huh? I've, I've never. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of far. You never burn out either? Nah. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Whoa, we're gonna be doing a lot of burnouts here. Now, it might get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, we might hit the wall with this one too, but I feel like we're not gonna paint it. We need, we need to leave it like this. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna paint, we're just gonna paint the hood and the front bumper, but I feel like we should keep it like this just because so we're gonna be doing burnouts. You know, a tire might pop off. You know what I'm saying? My, somebody might, a pedestrian might, you know what I'm saying? Be crossing, you know, the burnout pit and- Oh my God, yeah. get hit? It happened in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, it did. And almost hit the dude. Yeah, we didn't hit, we didn't hit nobody. We have yet to hit anybody. We won't ever hit somebody. Well, Freddie was throwing hats or yeah. shirts oh, and the right. shirt landed right in the middle of the burnout pit. And I was coming in hot sideways. And to prevent from hitting him, I went and hit the tire. And that's how I fucked up everything in the back. Now, I almost hit other people that were there watching mm -hmm. because I didn't want to hit this guy. So this guy could have caused a bigger accident. Right. But next time, just don't get in the pit. Stay behind the gates, guys. <laughs> or behind the tires or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you guys like the Cheddar Bomb truck. You're going to be seeing this truck a lot. My boy Miguel is going to be seeing it. He's going to miss it for sure. It's going to sit in good hands, bro. He's already, he's already smoking a cigarette. I'm already stressed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's already stressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we got shit to do, right? Right, we gotta load up. We gotta load up the monster truck. And then we're gonna cruise it, and I'm gonna show you guys that this truck actually works. You know what I'm saying? You can pull up to the shows, you can pull up to work, to school, and it actually works as well. It just doesn't look pretty. It actually performs well, so let's get the monster truck out, put it on the train. It's a lot of weight on yeah. those tires, you know? 
Okay. This one right here. That little, I don't, the little compression no le va a hacer nada eso. No. I think I need to go forward. There's more, the, the front tire, the, the, the front tire doesn't look as flat as the one on the rear. I mean, we're just going here. We're not fucking going to Florida or nothing, right? We're not? No, we're going to Spencer. <laughs> oh. Put some chains on this motherfucker. Watch your step. Fucking okay, sick. Smart car, the smart car should have went in the front. You should have put your Bud Light van in the front. <laughs> we'll put Miguel's little scooter. <laughs> <laughs> So we got the monster truck in the back. Y'all said this truck don't work. It don't perform like it's supposed to. But we got a 44 foot gooseneck trailer in the back. And we got a monster truck. And we rolling. And we jamming too. Rolling in this motherfucker. <laughs> And we actually got the back speakers on right now with my phone, so that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? You can drive it, you can jam to it, you can let people know you're pulling up. And this is why you need uh, helper bags, because right now we're going to have to... Oh, we got 60 pounds. Hey, Perrillo's on the monster truck. Did you know that? No, is he? <laughs> I didn't know that. I think so. Because the motherfucker's on. Yeah, he's in there. I see his head. He forgot to get down or what? No, uh, I don't know. Drugs. Nice. We can get some nice pictures here. Yeah. Here's dark. She want the info. I want to talk about that though. I'm trying to lead it with bloody. Like Brian when he threw that elbow. Street sticky cup muddy. Mud. Talk and looking like Rodeo. Come look. 20 chickens in the kitchen. They all bad. It with that man and Rocano. Let's get it. Sitting them on the mission, mission. My fingers itching cause of binges. Itching. Ain't part of dirty in a minute. Drink. Don't worry about it, mind your business. The fuck is you serving no G like it's Wendy's. OG, I'm in their mouth, no dentist. Got the lead. Give a fuck about an image. Oh, what? When we see them boys, we scream it. I ain't see really here lately. I've been in my bag. Got these fuck niggas mad. A bitch nigga reason I'm doing them bad. We in front of four fucking relaxed. Alright now, hold on to me. There you go. Smile, smile. One, two, three, one, two, three, or like this. But,
about this, Frank? You're probably too young. Who's too young? You. How? How old are you? <laughs> Let's see. All right, guys, so Flaco said he was gonna get done with this truck next weekend, but this guy actually just took two days. You were, you were on it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't doubt you, bro. I didn't doubt, I really didn't doubt him. But he said it's gonna be ready next week. I was like, we actually need it for this weekend coming up. And he actually got it done in two days. So right now we're gonna unload it and yep. test it. I think he needs to do the two step, right? Uh, it's already done. It's already done, oh, okay. So this thing go. is ready to roll. Here we go. So stage one, burnout kit, you know what I'm saying? Stage two might need more stuff, but I think with stage one, it's gonna perform really well. My boy Andres is gonna be really happy. And you will see this truck at Mandas y Trocas, May 25th. You do not wanna miss out along with uh, Takashi. Hoping we take Maybe. Big Larry. And that one too. Okay. Big Larry and Major's gonna be there. Cheddar Bob is gonna be there Cheddar too. Cheddar Bob is gonna be there with the Supercharger. <laughs> so yeah, a whole, lot of, a whole lot of fun activities. Yeah, oh, we, we was on it. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we was on so it. what all did you do? Like, we got Caltrex on it. We got a 456 gear. Okay. It's got a good posse. Okay. Uh, it's got a true track. Okay. And uh, dual fans, two step. We loaded it on the dyno. We tuned it. You know why it, it overheated? Why? Because the main fans were not even connected. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. So, it's, like, the, the it's got all the relays and everything, but the main power wasn't. No tenía fuse. Donde va? Por eso se calentó muy rápido. So, the, the, as de cuenta, no prendían los fans. Mm. So, entonces, that's corrected. And then the two extra fans in the front. Same better. Okay. And it's got a 160 thermostat también. And it still was real fat. It was real fat. The okay. Tune. Yeah. So, did you fix the tune? Yeah, I ended up uh, taking quite a bit of fuel out. Okay. And then we did the Tohawk stuff yep. still? Okay. So, Tohawk will activate it for first gear only? Yeah, it won't let it go into second gear or anything. That's what we usually do. We put these things in first gear. Maybe sometimes you shift it to second, but that's if you want to get a lot of speed. But normally, just uh, swing it around the small pit. Yeah, first gear it works yeah. so right now let's uh bring it down and just yeah, it it. oh shit <laughs> we don't have this trailer you can actually load a real low car yeah i see that yeah like nice. uh blue magic that's real real low yeah you don't hit nothing nice so it's pretty good on all the low vehicles yeah Okay, I see the fans now. Yep. All right, so dual fans. I think 2003s and under don't come with electric fans. No, right? only 05 and newer. 05 and up. 05 and up. Not 2004s. No. Okay. 05 and up. Flack was the expert. He knows more. He's been fucking with LS for so I was in fucking diapers. Mm. So <laughs> 05 and up, they come with electric fans, which is kind of this setup right here, right? Yeah, which is that one. Normally they come with the clutch fan. Normally. And then it holds you back with yeah. power and stuff like that, right? It, it makes a lot of noise. It makes a lot of noise. It yeah. blows. If you go through the, the yeah. dirt, yeah. you're gonna, you know. Take a break. So this is the new stuff right here. So we got two right now, and then we added two more right here in the front. Dual and 14 inches. Dual 14 inches. So pretty much the same deal that we got in yep. the back. Now we got it in the front. These the original ones are 16 inch, so these are 14. Okay. Of so still still kind of big. Now yeah. we're pushing the air in, and yep. that's pushing the air out. Yep. These are sucking. These are pushing. Mm. Okay. Yep. I like that. Mm -hmm. Right. 
<laughs> so, and then uh, of course the two step, yeah. and it's at 5500. Right now it's at 5500. 5500. This truck dues uh, it's on 93, so that's uh, that's pretty simple. You don't have to worry about the 85 or nothing yeah. like that. 456 gears, of course. Yeah. Four to now six you gears. say that it does have a good posi unit. Yeah, it's got a two track in it, which is what we usually use, right? Yes. Yeah. So it already has a two track, and you wouldn't know what kind of gears it had before, huh? 410. Oh, it had 410s? Yeah. So it, it, 410s work pretty good, but yeah. I mean, 456, some um, this, it's gonna, be a little better. it's gonna be a lot better. So it's gonna be a lot smaller, more wheel spin, yeah. and that's what you want. And then, of course, the tune was kind of off. The, 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 it was real fat. It just had like. Now explain know, a to people what fat means. We know, but you know, not everybody knows. So what does fat mean? Fat means that it's just running really rich. Too much gas. Too much gas. Too much like gas. A whole lot of gas. And then too much gas sometimes it, it, kills, it, 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 it kills power, it misses, it, it smells like gas is yeah. it so the term the slang when it's fat it's not that it's actually fat it's just that <laughs> it's it's it has a lot of fuel it has a lot of fuel so you probably heard that term before like oh it's too fat because yeah. when we go to the track sometimes like okay you know this and that or whatever so this one had a lot of fuel yeah. so it's clean now right yeah clean it all up it's uh actually like I said I ended up taking away maybe 25 percent which is quite a bit okay it's, that's it's, a lot it's, yeah, it's yeah. a lot it's a quarter uh, yeah so it's a lot cleaner at idle, mid-range, cruising, full throttle, just right. everywhere. Okay. Now, before it touches the limiter, it does have to where I added some extra fuel just because if it needs to touch the limiter, it has that extra fuel on it because it's gonna be on the limiter quite a bit regardless. So every time it hits the limiter, it throws more gas. It, it, yeah. And that helps it from? That helps it from uh, burning the piston up or anything. Okay, like. there you go. But you didn't know that, and now you do. So if you got a tuner, you tell them that you want, you know, that. What do you call that? Just, well, what's, what's the term for adding fuel? When you hit the limiter, or it's just well, it's just before it hits the limiter, so it actually because whenever it does hit the limiter, it cuts the fuel. Okay. Automatically, the, that's the way the computers work. Oh, so what you do know. is you add extra fuel on it right before it touches it, so whenever it does cut it, it has that fuel has in fuel there. in there. There you go. So. There you go. So uh, everything looks pretty good. Now it's time to test it. So the switch. Right here. Up. Okay. Down is off. So the limiter, okay. ¿cuánto lo tienes? The limiter is at 6,800. 68. Regular limiter. Okay. And then the two-step is at? 55. Okay, let's try out the two-step first. Okay. behind you literally look you going that way you can go, you can go yeah you can go now I just didn't want you to do it in the middle of the impact of time Get out of I know <laughs> Two step, just on the limiter. It sounds good. No, the, the two step was on. Mm, no, it was off. That was uh. just the, the tow hook. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that's that's perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. It, I mean, I didn't have to do too much of a burnout. It, it's it's real easy. Yeah. I can uh, now before we took it to flock, we did some burnouts, and I gave it a little bit more gas, and now it's just real easier. It's easier. Lot, well, it'll spin the tires a lot faster. It was if yeah. It was cleaner, so. It was, it'll do a burnout way faster. Yeah, it was so effortless. Like, we didn't even have to try. And then now, of course, now that we fixed the fans and now it has more fans, it's not gonna overheat like like it did before. Like, is this how we toss the pedal or no? Yeah, okay. yeah it's got any freeze in there. Okay, 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 cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. And uh, it was missing a lot of water. Uh, so we filled it all up, everything's good. Let it run for a while, had it on the dyno and everything was good. Hey, yeah. Marcus. Okay, so oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be like more maneuverable. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt it right off the bat. Like when I first did the burner, I gave it a lot of gas and yeah. and don't let off the gas just more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one was just like, okay, wow. You know, you heard it. Yeah, yeah. 
But no, um, my boy Andres is going to be real happy about the deal. So, May 25, catches at Bandas y Trocas. Mater's going to be there? Mater's going to be there. Uh, are you going to blow up the tires? Because you got them nice wheels, bro. I don't know. You, you want me to blow tires? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> that truck is too nice. I feel like it's too nice. The wheels are badass it's and everything. It is an old truck, but you you pretty much <laughs> nice you know, it up. Nice it up. <laughs> it's too nice now. You overhauled it real nice. Yeah, you overhauled it. And, and with the nice wheels and everything. And it hasn't done a burnout in a while, right? No, no. no. Like, I actually. I, mean, I did some on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, I, but I'm talking about burnout like actual burnout. burnout burnout. So May 25, you do not want to miss out. <laughs> Mater, this one, Takashi, the Honda Gas Squad, Flaco Squad, we're all gonna be there. Everybody. I'll see you guys there.